Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, we are going to talk some of the concepts in inheritance which is rarely been explained in most of the books. That is, in today's session, I'll be explaining you about the using keyword in inheritance. Yes, I know most of the people have hardly heard about what is the use of using keyword in inheritance because this is one of the features which is most probably is available in C++ only. There are very rare languages which do support the using keywords concepts. So let's understand that. Before going into the inheritance using keywords, I would like to just clear you that I hope so you have already have an understanding of what is inheritance, how inheritance works, what are the general rules of inheritance. If you still have any queries, you can watch my previous videos. I have created a series of videos on inheritance that's part 1 to part 5. I hope so you have already have the knowledge or else you have seen my videos from part 1 to part 5. Let's start the session. So as per the rules or what is the requirements of using keyword, why I need it and what it in using keyword does exactly. So let us understand with an example. Suppose in a general scenario without the using keyword what happens in this is that in, we have a class A which is having three variables at three different extra specifiers. Private is having integer A, protect is having integer B and public is having integer C. And as per the rules, if class B inherits private A, then integer A will not be directly accessed by private B that is class B but the variable B and C which is in the protected and public section will be accessed to class B but as per the rules that as B is inheriting A in the form of private way so B and C will be taken or will be directly shifted to private section even though it has not created or what it will be something like this he does not have to write it I hope so you know that but I just want to say that is the what I my intention is that as B is inheriting A the B and C the variables of A will be shifted or will be accessed in B in the form of private variables that we all know so what is the case here what is the difference now if suppose we have multiple variables in the protected and public section and we want all the variables in the private area of class B then naturally we will inherit A in the form of private way what I have done in the, this example but what happens is or what or suppose there is a requirement something like this that I am having three variables that is B C D which is accessed in the class A will be accessed by class B in the form of private way but there is a requirement by class B that I want the D variable only the D variable to be accessed as a public variable in my class now if I want to do that then there is a second option is comes is that instead of inheriting A in the form of private I can inherit in the form of public but then there is a problem again what the B and C B will be in the protected way and C and D both will be in the public way I don't want that I want B and C in the private way like the previous one but only the D variable to be accessed or to be in my public area now to make a specific one variable access specifier as per inheritance is not possible in general scenario for this solution we have to use using keyword I hope so you have understood that with the help of using keyword I can say in short I can say that with the help of using keyword we can make a particular variable to be a particular sections in our area that means so what I have to do B and C will indirectly will be available by me so only the problem comes here is that the variable D is required in the public area how to do that I don't want to redeclare it I know D will not be available to me directly because I'm inheriting a in the form of private to how to get in this thing so here I have to write using base class name is a scope resolution D by writing this much statement what I'm able to get is that the D variable will now be becoming public in the class B even though I have inherited class A in the form of private so this is one of the unique concept or unique feature we are getting with the help of using keyword by using keyword we can make a D variable even though in the private section normally it goes but we can get that variable in the form of public section yes it will be con it will be shifted in the child also we'll see the example I hope so now I've cleared the doubt what is the using keyword when to use and this thing let's see an example and we try to understand it so we have a class first which is having a private variable protective variable and public variable I'm having a set method which is a default values is mean assigned to the or argon values is assigned to the private and public and you know, protected variables display is being used to display the values second is a class which inherits a first class in the form of private so as per the rules the private protected and public variable will be 
by default will be in the se second class private section but what I am doing is the public variable I need it in the public area only the public variable the protected should be going in the private area private will not be accessed so the protected should go in the protect, uh, private area but the public only the variable I want in my public area so I have written using class name scope resolution and the variable so now this particular variable will not follow the pre private rules of inheritance it will be in the public area so how to check that for checking purpose I have accessed because it is my private area so if we, if I don't write that statement then I will not be able to access this thing let's see by using using keyword will be able to do that or not let's compile it so it has been compiled so I'm executing so you can see 500 is a variable I'm accessing it and for the timing to show you that well will it that be only the rule for second class only or will it be inherited or will it be passed in the third class also yes in the third class also it will be accessed because as per the rules the using keyword I'm getting the public variable in my public section of the second class so it will be now be treated as a variable accessed in my public area only not for that particular class only even for the child because child third class is inheriting second in the form of public so as per the rules the public will go in the public and protected will go in the protected so in the third class also if you can see if I create an object of third class and access that variable I'll be accessed for the timing if you want to see what is the power of using I can just comment this code and save it and let's try and compile so now as per the rules the seconds all variable will be in the private section so let's see that I compile it so I'm getting an error that is it is not inaccessible now because now as per the rules it is gone into the private section so by with this example we have seen that with the help of using keyword we can change particular one variables access specifier through in during the inheritance to a particular area as per our requirements it is true that we don't have access to private variables so it be by using using keyword also will not still have be access to those private variables in our child classes I hope I've cleared the doubts of using keyword. If you have still any queries, you can write an email to me or else the best option is you can post comments to this video so it will be more faster for me to answer you the questions. Or else you can find all the code related to this video in my blog, we know the best, the wordpress.com. Thank you and have a nice day.